I never saw any kind of spiritual help I considered myself. An atheist, at least an agnostic, a cynic, a skeptic, this was not for me, but I was pretty desperate. And she said, what do you want? And I said, well, that's my problem. I don't know what I want. What I want is, I want to know what I want. I was laying on the stretcher going to the operation room and I see the ceiling above me. And all of a sudden, the ceiling disappeared. There's no more ceiling. And I saw just the sky and I said, what am I doing here? Am I doing things for God or for myself? Once I was on the Papa's Talis when he had just finished leading um, a, a Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur service, and I saw tears in his eyes, and I said, Papa, warum weinst du? You know, in German, why are you crying? And he says, I just talked with God. And I asked him, does it hurt when you talk with God? You know, this is how a child goes. And he says, no, so why did you cry? It's because I remember such a long time since I really talked with him. When it was hard for my mother, um, she would sing, you know? And it's that kind of song that I could just imagine Harriet Tubman singing Oh, I couldn't hear nobody pray, couldn't hear nobody pray, Lord, way down yonder by myself, and I couldn't hear nobody pray. We are a Christian band, and we play death metal. And my call is to tell of the, this power for God to these people who are rejected. And this guy said to me, I came to your concert last night. I had a lot of cocaine in my head and I was decided to kill myself. But something changed my, my life during your concert. And then this guy, he threw a bunch of cocaine on the floor. I never saw so much cocaine in my life. He said, I don't want this anymore. I want God. I want the God that you're preaching. When you were beaten, you felt really alone because the other kids were terrified to go near you or help you because they too was f afraid of being beaten. You had to get this access of connecting with the Sun or Earth Mother as quick as you could so that it could have a chance to comfort you. And sometimes we'd just lie on Earth and just said, oh, I've had it, I need you to hold me. And it, she would the mother would hold you. And sometimes she'd just say to the son, I need you to hold me, mum, and she'd hold you. We only had those two mothers. Our earth mothers were taken away from. They weren't there. The people who re said they were our mothers, the men who were our fathers, wouldn't even touch us because of our darkness. It was in January 1945, and for us it was the beginning of the death march. The finger of God was pointing to me that if I broke away from the big group, I am going to stay here, I am not going to run after, and whatever will be, will be. Maybe in the morning we can go back to the village and find somebody who will take us in. Three other girls stayed with me, and all three of us survived. Wow. 
Why was I molested? Why was I sexually abused? Maybe because I deserved it. Maybe, maybe I'm dirty. Maybe I'm ugly. I became addicted to uh, pornography because you know, any kind of addiction is really trying to escape the, the sadness, the emptiness, the shame within you. Even more than pornography, I became addicted to pleasing people. I began to project onto God what I felt about myself. Maybe God is also ashamed of who I was. Maybe God didn't like me also because I didn't like myself. And maybe God is a God with a checklist of my sins. Uh-huh. Ah, he fell again in pornography. Oh boy, what's new? I cannot pinpoint a particular day in time where suddenly I, I realized he wasn't like that. But gradually, it just grew on me that there is this God who accepts me as I, was, as I am and who loves me and enjoys me, who likes me. He doesn't just love me. He likes me. He likes all of me. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كالعيد ضان كالا مبكي Said I wouldn't tell nobody, but I couldn't keep it to myself what the Lord has done for me.